Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running. Welcome back to another episode in my training for the Manchester Marathon. And today we're just out on a very easy pace, probably 7K, a bit over four miles run. It's Tuesday morning early, uh, but I will tell you what happened at the end of last week's episode. So the bit you didn't see and you wouldn't have wanted to see. So after what was a really good long run, really good to get out there and to do a 20 miler on Sunday, I got home and yeah, of course, my legs were feeling a bit tired. I was feeling a bit tired. I was rehydrating, but I wasn't feeling very hungry like you normally do when you finish a big long run like that. And as the day progressed, I started to feel sick. And in the afternoon, yeah, I vomited. And it wasn't very pleasant at all. Now I think it was probably caused by an out of date gel maybe. I think one of the gels could have been slightly out of date, perhaps. Um, they were certainly gels that I've been using before. So nothing new there. But that's the only thing I can really put it down to at the moment. So I've taken two rest days now before going out on this run. And I can certainly feel in my legs on this run, they're feeling good to get out and to move in again, but they are a little bit more tired than they would have normally been. And that's probably because my energy levels are not where they should be at the moment. So I'm just going to watch it this week and be careful. It's probably going to be more easy running. I had planned to go on the hills and do a hills workout. We'll see if it happens a little bit later in the episode. And I just want to say a massive welcome to all the new subscribers. We've had quite a lot during the last week. And if you've been out there already subscribed and spreading the, new, spreading the word of this channel to your friends, your running buddies, then thanks very much. Because the hardest thing on YouTube is being discovered. So it really helps when you share the content and people watch the content and they subscribe and they share the content and there it goes. So welcome everyone that's new and thank you for all you regular subscribers. And if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, then please do hit that subscribe button now. Oh, it's freezing today. And I'm in shorts and t-shirts because I couldn't find my base there. I think it's all in the wash. Oh, and I needed to get out for a lunchtime run. And it's a workout, it's workout Wednesday. And as I mentioned, we are tackling the hills today so we are going for five hill repeats on my way to the hills now and it's just started raining it's not actually rain it's hail so here we are we've arrived at my favorite hill we're going to go up there and around the corner up towards the top of the hill which is at the top of Rygate hill and we are going to run for two minutes at a time once we've run for two minutes, we will then jog back down, taking as long as we want, uh, letting the heart rate uh, reduce during that time. And then we'll press the lap button when we're ready and we'll go again. So we're gonna try and do that for five times today. Um, anyone that knows me knows I don't really like this workout at all. But we're gonna try and do it because we know that running up hills fast is, is a good speed workout. So let's get on with it, eh? Okay, that's the first one done. And if you can see up there, we made it almost to the top. Probably further than I normally get actually. I'm just gonna, just gonna mark it with this stick here so that I know for the next ones whether or not we get as far or maybe further. Okay, that's the second one. And as you can see, we are much closer to the top of the hill. So the marker here is, we're at that uh, little children's fort place. So. Thank you. 
So for the third one, almost identical to the second one. Maybe a metre more, but not by much. So I pushed even harder on the first bit of the fourth rep and as you saw got even closer to the top of the hill uh, a good bit further than the second and third rep so I don't know what I'm going to do on the last one I think that has probably overcooked it for the last one but hey let's see how we get on right last one let's go So I didn't get quite as far on the final rep as I did on the fourth one, but still further than all of the rest. And all in all, that was a really good hills workout, I think. Oh, and I got a bit of exciting news coming through last night, confirmed this morning. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you about that right now. So stay watching, because on my next run, I will let you know what that exciting news was. Good morning, it's the weekend, Sunday, and it's out early again, getting the long run done. But guys, it's not raining, it's dry, it's not raining, there's no wind, it's not raining, and the sun is out. And did I say it? It's not raining today. And today's long run is gonna be 25K, well that's part one, because there is a part two coming up, but yeah, 25k now, early on Sunday morning. And then, the way I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be 5k easy, 5k marathon pace, 5k easy, 5k marathon pace, 5k easy to finish. And we're doing a double run day today. So part two, I'm gonna be back here in Rygate Priory Park. There is um, the county cross country competition taking place for the juniors today. Um, I'm going to be the tail runner of the under 9s and under 11s races. So that should be interesting on tired legs and I know they're quick. So I probably won't be filming those cross country races uh, but I will add the distance that I run as the tail runner. I will add that to my total distance for the week which will appear on the screen towards the end of the episode. Okay, we are just approaching 10k. So we have done our first stint, 5k at marathon pace, but it's actually, it's been quicker than marathon pace. Um, haven't really zoned into the marathon pace yet. So uh, we'll try a little bit harder on that when we do the second 5k at marathon pace. But now we're back to easy pace. And just to bring you up to date with the rest of this week's training. So before this run, I left you on Wednesday with that uh, Wednesday workout. Well then I went out on Thursday for a 9K easy pace run. And then Friday we went to do our gym session. And yesterday, Saturday, um, I couldn't do park run. I would have liked to do the leap year park run. I guess I'm gonna to have to wait think <laughs> until I'm very old before I could do the next one. Anyway, didn't do the leap day, uh, leap year day park run, but did get out for 5K later in the afternoon. So comment below if you did park run yesterday in the leap year, the only one that's ever been on the 29th of February ever. So comment below, did you do it? If you did, which park run did you run? 
Okay, that exciting news I said I'd tell you about. So firstly, my plan during this training block was to do two races uh, prior to the actual marathon itself. The first one was gonna be the Worthing Half where I was pacing the two hours, but that got canceled as you might have seen a few weeks ago. So didn't get that opportunity. So up to now I've done no races. Um, my second race I had planned to do was going to be the Lid 20 miler. So that's down by the coast, um, very flat route apparently, uh, and a 20 mile race, which I've never done before. But certainly some people have advised doing 20 mile races as part of your marathon prep. So just get used to the whole uh, distance of racing. Well, that's what I had planned to do until I was contacted earlier in the week and given the opportunity to pace two hours at the Surrey Half Marathon, which takes place in Woking next weekend, next Sunday. Now the Surrey Half Marathon is a bit of a special race for me because two years ago, that is where I set my Half Marathon PB, which still stands today. And I only did that because I was helped by a pacer at that point in time and stuck with them and that pacing group the whole way. So it was a bit of a difficult decision, but actually it wasn't. I wanted a pace at the Surrey Half, pace a two hour group, help people to get sub two, some PBs hopefully, and as I say, special race for me. So I'll be back there next week. So if you are racing at the Surrey Half, Especially if you are trying to get sub two, drop a comment below, let me know, and uh, hopefully you get to see you there. Okay, approaching 20k and this second lot of 5k at around marathon pace it's been a bit slower than the first 5k at marathon pace but uh, it's still a bit faster than my marathon pace probably okay as we commence the final 5k which is an easy pace just remember if you'd like a shout out in next week's episode just let me know what race you're doing and training for, uh, and I will give you a shout out on screen during next week's episode. But I also want to give a special shout out this week, and that is to the Smalley Road Runners, a running club up in Derbyshire. I know a lot of you have subscribed to the channel during the last week, so thanks very much for doing that. So big shout out, and wearing this hat for you today. Well guys, we are coming to the end of this episode today and for uh, week 11. So we're really now gonna start counting down the weeks rather than counting up the weeks, I think, because we are getting closer and closer to marathon day. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you have, of course, please do hit the thumbs up button to give the video a like. And if you're new around here, well, you know what to do. Why not hit that subscribe button now? Okay, guys, see you next week. Goodbye.